Their very nature have been the chief champion for visual arts and the solution to problems of exposure faced by young creatives all around the country. Artists like Penny Siopas, Bamboo Sabia and the Essex Twins from Cape Town will tell you that it was not until winning an art competition that their careers started taking off and their voices started gaining significance. The SA Taxi Foundation has added their art award to the few projects in the country that provide a platform for young artists to shine. Might I add that the winner of their competition gets the pleasure of seeing their work on minibus taxis. Nisha Singh is the SA Taxis Foundation's director and she joins me uh, in studio now to talk about the award. Nisha, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Why an art award, an art competition related to, uh, to the SA Taxis? So it's a very, very interesting story. Um, we well, we believe at SA Taxi that very similar to the taxi industry, um, the artistic and creative industries have a very fundamental role to play in society. Um, but similarly, our both industries are very misunderstood. Mm. I mean, the taxi industry as a whole, um, the analogy is that if, if the, the taxi industry had to stop operating, the economy will grind to a halt because at least 60% of the workforce travel by taxi every day. Um, but very similarly, in a, in a unique economy such as ours, the artistic industries are very, very important to reflect on, on society and the changing opinions of, within the changing views of what's happening in society. But the artistic industries aren't given that clout and they haven't really been able to explore the opportunities or their potential um, in this industry um, or in this economy as yet. Mm. Um, so at SA Taxi and SA Taxi Foundation, we are very much about empowerment and empowering small businesses and just um, addressing social needs in, in that way. And, and, that, and that's how the, the idea was born, essentially. How do we meet, how mm. do we make two misunderstood industries speak to each other at least? And then try <laughs> and build that link so that exactly. people can see it. So you open this competition, it then mm. becomes a reality, and yes. you, there's a call to, to action for artists to take part mm. in this competition. And what was um, kind of the reception like? I mean, what were the kind of entries? We interviewed the winner mm. a little bit earlier, but was there an overwhelming response to this call? So there was. I mean, we got far more respondents than we ever ex expected. I mean, it being a very new competition. Mm. And a lot of, I mean, honestly, a lot of... Um, Queries we got were around entrants who are very hesitant to have their artwork display, displayed on taxis because of public perception and that sort of thing. Um, and given that initial feedback, we were very, very worried about, firstly, the quality and then the quantity of entrants that we might expect. And, and it being the artistic industry and us being in South Africa, everybody's a procrastinator. So in the last week before the closing date, we were all very worried and had to remind ourselves that as long as we had seven entries at least, yeah, we fine. could still have a competition. We ended up with 80 complete entries. Wow. So um, I think it was a good turnout. <laughs> and, the, and the overall perception of the, of the art that was uh, entered into this competition? So uh, the, the art in general was of a very, very high standard and a high quality. Um, a lot of the arts, I mean, we, we are very proud to have the finalist work displayed in our collection. But more than that, I mean, I think it's difficult for anybody to choose amongst the top 40. Um, so it was a very tight competition. It was a very tight competition. We were very pleased. Obviously, the criteria in the entry forms were also very, um, very narrow in, in that we requested that the artist's value of the work be at least 10,000 rand. So it, it, we got a very, very high quality work. So what is the mechanism now? The winner's been crowned. Their art will be on how many taxis, where in the country, and where will you be able to interact with it and, and kind of see it? So um, the six winners, so, the, so Seppo and the top five on, and the next five finalists, will each have their work wrapped on 10 taxis each. So there will be 60 taxis on the roads nationally that carry this artwork. What we've tried to do is we've tried to select prime routes Mm. Um, and then we're obviously in the process now of engaging with the operators on those prime routes to get the necessary permissions and stuff for those taxis to, to be rolled out. Um, we can expect to see the taxis at the beginning of the first week of June. It takes, I mean, a month and a bit for production and that sort of thing. But yeah, primary routes around the country. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> and, 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 and commuters, 
you've yeah. obviously got taxi media and you've got TV screens inside the taxis. Will there be some kind of element to highlight to um, the commuters mm -hmm. that they're actually viewing a movable work of art? So we, we don't have t TV screens inside our taxi, okay. in, in our fleet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> but what we do is that, um, what we're planning is that on, in, on the inside panels of, of the vehicle, we want to have some elements of branding as well and perhaps like a, a QR code or a link that the commuters could access. We're still playing with the different ideas. So, yeah. Quickly, where do you see this art competition going? So, I mean, a lot of, a lot of the, the future planning was based around the response this year, and the response has been phenomenal. So I, I see it being sustainably hap happening for the next uh, few years at least. Um, we want to engage different stakeholders and different partners to try and, and make it, um, you know, bigger and better, obviously. Well, you had but Lisa Moore and Associates involved yes, in this as well. Definitely. Um, they were impeccable project managers. Um, it, art being their core competency, we couldn't rely on anybody better to make this competition a reality. Yeah. What was it about uh, Seppo Musopo's work that stood out? Um, that said, like, he's got to be the overall winner. So if you look at the pieces individually, if you've ever been a commuter on a taxi, you would directly relate to one of those positions. There's one, one of his pieces that I partic personally relate to, and it's about it's the sky leaning on his hand, and it's obviously like a sleeping position, and that was my commuter position every morning on the way to Varsity in a taxi. So you so, use that opportunity to sleep. So you use that opportunity to sleep, but every, anyone who's traveled in a taxi would be able to relate to those... those um, drawings and that artwork. Wow. Yeah. My commute to position everywhere, um, every morning to work was this. Because <laughs> we were always cramped. Always okay, cramped. Kalnisha yeah. Singh, thank, thank you very much for joining us here in the studio. Uh, she's from the SA Taxi Foundation. She's the director there. The foundation hosted the Art Award Ceremony on Thursday evening and announced Seppo Masopa as their winner. Later on, well, we did speak to him already, but we'll speak to the gallery that curated the competition that I think is Lisa Moore and Associates. We'll have one of their representatives in studio with us. Stay tuned. Let us know what you think. Morning live at SABC.ca.au.